Hi, y'all. It's Cindy, and you're probably wondering what in the world is going on with uh, that flower. Surely flowers like that are not blooming yet. Well, they're not here in Arkansas, but I'm ready for flower time. Um, my lights are a little weird today, so I hope that we don't have any issues. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I have a, a quick jewelry haul I want to share with you, and um, we shall move on. So, let's go. So, these were two of the things that caught my eye in there. And, um, they're, it, they're gold tone chains. And I'm going to say gold tone because they are magnetic. Yes, indeedy. They are labeled. They actually have hang tags on them. And actually, it was a bracelet and a chain and they are labeled American American what does that say I can't remember what that says American something but they're made in Korea oh American showcase and I think that was kind of a party thing but I'm not positive if anybody knows please leave a comment I'd love to hear what you think so so this right here is really cool and um, I've looked at it under the light, and I'm just not real sure if it's supposed to have some rhinestones that might be missing. So it is labeled 1928. Uh, so it's really is um it's made to reflect an old style. I'm sorry, I'm looking down at it. So it's a it is backwards <laughs> there let's turn it around that it's a locket and uh, it is a locket it does open but there's some little missing spaces right in here that I wonder if there aren't supposed to be rhinestones in so I'm not real sure I'm gonna look and see so, so it's a little enamel pen he's not Labeled a little puppy dog, but he's cute, and he's got a little jeweled collar. Can you hold on for just a second, please? Hold on. Let's see if that's better. I think that's better. I, think, I thought I had too much light over there. Anyway, he's cute. He's a little enamel puppy dog, and he is cute. <laughs> so, a uh, scarf clip that says Jerry Lou, and Jerry Lou is a, a pretty common scarf clip maker, and that is a, an enamel, cream tone enamel with a rose color in it, and the, my colors are not showing up real good tonight. Um, that is a single earring really pretty but it does not have a match at all this is a pendant that wasn't on a chain but there's several chains in there that I could put it on so and there's no missing rhinestones this is a single earring no this is not a single earring and it's marked something and I didn't realize it was marked up here so let's just see what I thought it's West Germany and it is a scarf clip, and it is really cool. Very modern, modernist style with all the swirls and loops and loop de doop de doops Okay, so we're going to go through bangles right quick. There are, there's this one. And that one has a real coppery look to it. There's this one, highly magnetic. Uh, that one there was real magnetic. Uh, I don't think that one was magnetic. And then this one is, it's a, I don't know if it's an ankle bangle. I don't know. Is there such a thing as an ankle bangle? I don't know. So, and then this one, and it's got, um, almost looks like inlaid wood in it. But I'm not positive. So, um, this was a really nice piece that was in there. And it is a triple chain, and it's very long, and it's got this big pendant on it that is 
greeny yellow colored and then but you turn it over and it looks like that on the back of it so if it got flipped it would be no big deal and it has this tag on it four leaf clover which i am fairly positive is lucky brand so anyway uh that's what i found that told me that so hi somebody's here so not sure who it is but welcome to chat if you're here this is a little topaz colored uh, rhinestone in a heart that has little swirls around it. And it is marked Avon on the back of the pendant. But the chain is not marked Avon. But there is a chain that I'm thinking that is probably supposed to be the original chain with it that is marked Avon. And this one. No, 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 no. Don't tangle. I spent quite a while untangling y'all earlier. This one here is the Avon, this heavier gold chain. So it is signed Avon. And they do want to tangle on me. That's them. This one here is just a little chain. And it has a really odd signature on it. And it's just a chain. There's nothing on it. But it has a very odd little place on it and I know you can't see that because the light is so bad and then I've dropped something here this right here is so cute so so cute and he will go on eBay the the chain uh, I'm sorry the chain has nothing on it and I'm not even getting held the right way so sorry it's Winnie the Pooh, and he's reaching up to grab a little purple um, rhinestone. Get in there. And he is signed Disney on the back. So he will go on eBay. And this is very cute. And hold on. Oops. I hope that didn't pop up on there. Okay. Um, okay. This right here is so cute. It has no markings at all. Nope. It does have a marking. It says Korea. Yep. I'm pretty sure it says Korea. I hate when they, after I look at them, then they turn. But yeah, there. Korea. Okay. It's a little gold chain. A clear glass dolphin. With gold trimmed fins and nose. Very cute. Very, very, very cute. So, I'm not sure where he'll go. Okay. Here are a matching set of bangles. And they are just little gold tone with uh, little rhinestones studded in them. And there are some missing rhinestones. So, they'll probably go in a bangle lot. This right here, this is if anybody's watching this and you know i'm fairly positive this is a uh sarah coventry piece it doesn't have a stopper for the the pen so i might be able to find one but i have a necklace that is sarah coventry that has this thing on it so i'm sure that that is a sarah coventry piece but i've got to do some research to see if that set came with a sarah coventry came with a, a stick pen so this is um Queen, mm -hmm. y'all help. <laughs> and this is a beautiful pendant. It's um, African Queen. It's marked Gold Crown. Um, all the rhinestones are there. Very, very beautiful. So, uh, very nice. I really like it. So, this right here, I love. I absolutely love it. So, it is old. It looks very old to me. It's a bracelet. And it is um, got these three stones of two two lights and a dark. And they're set in these little flowers. It's got a dark spot on the metal. It's I guess Verdigree has ruined the metal finish there. And it's got a dark spot on the, several dark spots on the back. But here, and I've tried I tried to clean it. I tried to clean it off. It didn't clean. So and it has a um, box snap. And then when you snap it together, it has, that's what the back looks like. Very, very pretty. 
very pretty. I love it. It's old. I mean, you can just tell just looking at it, the style of it. It's it's older. It's it's really pretty though. So uh, this is there was a lot of single clip-on earrings and single earrings in this, but this is a really neat one, and it's it's uh it's older you can tell just by the way that it's made but it's um clip on and a pair of twisted wire pierced earrings uh twisted hoops that i mean there's three hoops there's they're around a little thing like a door knocker thing anyway these are kind of cool they're like little pearl drops and they are a champagne color and they're on little gold wire hoops i don't see any markings on the gold wire hoops but i didn't look at them real close but they are cute that is on a tag that is a store tag that's been broke off so i would guess they're new so this is a little avon tie tack pin uh pin back and it looks like it sits weird but that's how it's made and you you would put it down into your um, let's see, put it down like this into your thing and then fasten it on the back. So it's cute, very cute. So this was a lot I bought on eBay. I paid thirty-eight dollars for the lot, then seven twenty to ship it to me. So this has no signature on the back. It looks older to me. I'm gonna have to see if I can clean it up a little bit. But it's a brooch. It has. It's like a calla lily leaf that has a stamen inside there, and then and that's a pearl, a faux pearl, anyway, and then gold tone. So it's nice. So welcome whoever the second person is here. Uh, a little earring that did not have a match. This little ring is very interesting. <laughs> First of all, this little ring is bent up major bad, major 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 bad. But then all the little stones here are missing i mean the middle stone is missing but it's got two little side stones and it is non-magnetic and i just noticed that it says something inside of it so let's just peek and see uh tag it's not anything though because i can tell by looking under the loop that it's got it's flaky so it's not anything so, this little bracelet is really pretty, and it has some really pretty stones in it for it to be a stretchy bracelet. I mean, like, really pretty. Um, there's abalone. That one really looks like turquoise. It may be dyed highlight, but it really does. And they're all stones. They are stones. They're cold. They're not plastic. Out there has a corally look too, but I don't think it is coral. It's got a, I think it may be, that one may be painted glass. I'm not sure. Not positive about that. This is a screw back earring. Very pretty. You know, <clears throat> at first I was aggravated. Excuse me. I was aggravated because there were so many single earrings, but there's some beautiful rhinestones in some of these, so. I will keep them. I'm not going to fuss too much. This is another tack pin. Oops. Put my thing down. Tack pin is a little angel holding a heart full of rhinestones. And it's missing no rhinestones. Cute little puppy dog stick pin. Cute, cute, cute. Puppy dog. So, I'm not showing you all of the um, broke, I mean, single earrings. This is a neat little wire ring it's got a little pink stone and it's just got little wires it, it's definitely different uh, it'll probably just go in a jewelry lot um, this is a beautiful beautiful um, my mind cufflink is really pretty and here's another one that's really pretty that had no match. Oops, that's not that's not a tough link. I just knocked it over. Where did oh there they go? This one here. This is pretty, and this to me is pretty enough that it could be a pendant, but it's a little odd. It's a 
a lion head set in a, a, a cream colored enamel ring. So here's a little stretchy gold bead bracelet. This is real pretty. It's just a rhinestone bracelet all the way around. It has a catch. It doesn't, it's not stretchy. It does have a catch. I'm probably trying to open it the wrong way. Of course I am. Has a catch. Got it open there. And there's no missing rhinestones. And they are rhinestones. This is an earring and it is actually very cool. And uh I like single earrings that are cool. So I save them. They go in my in my bucket. I put them on my Christmas tree. So so hey. This is a really there's some cute rings in here. Here's a this is just a little black stone ring. And it's on a twisted twist and it's just a little bitty black stone. It's it's nothing spectacular, but it's cute. Uh, a little green channel rhinestones, but they're missing rhinestones. So that's sad. But you know what? Those little green rhinestones will be harvested out of there and used for something else. So, I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing any matches of anything that, that's really pretty. Okay, this is a pendant. And it is, I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a flower, a dove. I don't, I don't know. It's just a little go tone pendant. And it is magnetic. <laughs> and, oops, I just knocked something in the floor. This was a tie clip, but it, it's missing whatever was on the front of it. So it lost whatever it was, and it was actually a signed tie clip. Uh, is a patent pendant signature. So, anyway, here is a little enamel earring, but it doesn't have, it's just enamel. So, there's a little enamel ring. Looks like a little flower. So, my friend Carla, if you watch this video, look at the kitty with his tail. Hmm. Has nothing signed on the back of him kept looking at that spot but I don't think it's a signature but anyway but he looks like to me that he is missing eyes so we may have to work on him there's no rhinestones in him but he looks like he needs some eyes so um, this is a beautiful little pen it's courting couple and it says West Germany on it and it is a little scatter pen top pen um really really cute uh angel pendant with rhinestones and the rhinestones are all there let me just hmm i knocked something off of the edge of my thing while ago and i was trying to see oh there it is sorry see if i can see what it was i could hear the chain hit so whoever you are you're being very patient with me thank you it's a, I believe it's an anklet. It's so large. Too large for a bracelet. It's an anklet. Different colored beads. None of the tags say anything on it. So none of the fasteners. Block up to the sneeze. This is a really cool earring. Unfortunately, there's only one and it's a twisted wire, but it's really cool. I like it very much. There's a matching pair of these, and they're sweet. The sweet life. They're little rhinestone birdies, and they are just as cute as they can be. So, cute, cute, cute. It's a puppy dog. He's a tack pin, and he does not have any kind of a name on him. He's sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Here is a bone, and it is a tack pin. A bar brooch, and it is not signed. It is 
also not very old. It's made to look old, but it's not very old. Uh, a tack pin with a teddy bear with in a Christmas wreath. And the rhinestones are there. A tack pin with the USA angel. It says made in the USA on the back of it. An Olympic tack pin. A, <laughs> I had to look at this one. It's a tiger. But it's also, it's also part of the Olympics. It has a tiger with an Olympic on it. And it says Minute Made Orange Juice Seoul, Seoul Korea. So it is, and then it says Olympics on it. And he's got an Olympic necklace on it. And it's really hard to see. But he's cool. Uh, I'm trying to see. He says something on him, but I can't see. Okay. This earring is super cool. And it sits like this. And then... You could actually wear it as two kinds of earrings that that comes out and you can take that off there's only one of them thanks i appreciate it blue pearl so thank you so much this little guy is just an earring and uh it's an acorn and it is so stinking cute and it's only one of them this this i've bought from this this seller before and I love buying from him. He's a great seller. I've got great things. I've I found gold from in his lots before. And I will easily make my money back on this. But this is the first time I've ever got a lot from him that has had this many um, mismatched earrings. So that was kind of disappointing. But this is an old one. And that's pretty. And that, rhin that rhinestone, that green rhinestone will be harvested. So none of it will go to waste. But. You know, when you're used to buying this some, from somebody and, and it's always been real good and then you get one that's, eh, it's disappointing, but I still can easily make my money back on this. This is a beautiful, beautiful closing a style earring. I would wear that on a jacket lapel. I would. So, so I sure would. And this is a real modern style. It almost looks like the Pierre Cardin uh, signature symbol. But um, there's just one of them. Cute little pumpkin. Cute little pumpkin. Here's one last thing I'm going to... I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I didn't miss anything. So, because there were so many earrings that were mismatched that... But yeah, I didn't miss anything that was... That was not a mismatched earring. So I, I, I did. But I'll show you this last pin. And um, it's really neat. And it's old. It's very old. And it's Listener. And I'm sorry. I'm looking off in the corner. It is Listener brand. And oh, there was one more thing I see. Um, and um, But it is missing so many rhinestones. I don't think I'm going to be repairing it. So it is. It's very unique. It's a little heart with a blue center. And it's got little almost sun rays out. And then here's a little flower. And there's four, five, one, two, three, four, five missing rhinestones there. And then it's got what looks like glue or paste down in the swirls. And so... I'm going to stick this baby in a thing of vinegar and see if it gets rid of some of that blue or white paste and see how that would do. I'm sorry. Rub it on my face. And then there's this sweet little guy. He's a little bear with a little red belly. Little pen. I forgot I had laid him over here. So his his little belly was not not attached, so I had to fix him. So anyway... Uh, disappointed that there was so many that didn't have matches, but there were they're still cool, and some of them may be repurposed into jewelry pieces. And we're about at 25 minutes, and I thank you for staying with me, Blue Pearls. I appreciate it so much. Um, come back and see me. Thanks. I have another haul expected, another order expected to come in from Shop Goodwill, and this will be my first Shop Goodwill purchase. 
um, that I've bought from them. So I'm excited about it. It's coming from Texas. Um, I'm on the look for some Texas jewelry. So it's coming from Texas. So thank you and have a great evening. Bye-bye. Thanks. Oh, I don't remember how to stop this one. Uh, there we go. I'll stop it. Hey, guys. Guess what we got? Am I still live? Oh, no. Am I still live? Uh -huh. No. Okay. I'm still here. I know. I just realized I'm still here. This is scary. <laughs> Thank you for being so patient. You're such a, you're such a good watcher. I'm still here.